Hello, good evening, and welcome back to another lovely episode of Cooking for the Lifestyles of the Rich and Famous with me, your host, Robin Leach. Right, so today, ladies and gentlemen, our culinary adventure takes us to the lovely, lovely Caribbean island of Cuba, where we're going to make a Cuban-style black beans with also a Cuban-style short rib. Right, and it's sort of like a stew, but not really a stew. It's lovely, absolutely lovely. So let's start right away, and we're going to show you all your accoutrement, and what you're going to need to make these Cuba-style black beans and short rib stew. Right, so here we have our diced onions, right, diced white onions. We have a little bit of white vinegar that we're going to need for the black beans. You can use fresh if you like. I like... Black beans, these Goya cans is just as fun. Now this right here, ladies and gentlemen, and this Goya sour orange, lovely, lovely for roast pork, for pernil, for roast pork shoulder. It's just a lovely marinade that you can just mix with garlic, some herbs. Perfect for a marinade, perfect. So we're gonna actually be using this for the marinade for the short ribs. Right, then we have our diced chorizo. That we're going to use for both, actually, the black beans and the short rib stew. We have our salt and pepper. We have our bell diced red bell pepper here. And then we have here our lovely short ribs that I already have marinating for about eight hours now. And then here we have the sour orange that I just showed you. Sour orange marinade. We have sliced white onions. We have a garlic paste, which I like to just take my knife and just mash if you, don't, if you don't like to do that, you can also use a mortar and pestle, even better. A mortar and pestle, just mash, mash the garlic with a little bit of salt and just mash it to a paste. And then you're going to add that to the short ribs, a little bit of sasson, Goya sasson, where it's perfect. Or you could just use some cumin, paprika, salt, pepper. I also like to add some dried oregano and some bay leaves to this marinade. Right, so also we have here that we're also going to use for this short ribs too. We're going to dice this yuca up. In English, they like to, the English term is cassava. We're calling it yuca now because this is a Cuban style recipe. Right. <laughs> okay, so we have this yuca here that we're going to dice up. We have this guava paste that I like to add just a little bit to the the sauce that we're going to reduce after we, we, we uh, cook this down. This, uh... This short rib stew, right. Then we have some minced garlic and bay leaves that we're going to have for the black bean stew. Also, what you don't see on the table is some chicken stock or beef stock, whichever one you like to use, for the short rib stew. Right, so as when we come back, <laughs> sorry, when we come back, as always, like I was going to say, we're going to switch it up, do a little blue moon this evening. As always, keep putting these up in the air, keep cooking, keep stirring, and keep putting these up in the air. And come back and we'll continue with the Cuban style short rib stew with the Cuban style black beans and rice. Alright folks, cheers. Hello, hello and welcome back to Cooking for the Lifestyles of the Rich and Famous with me, your host Robin Leach, where we are doing a Cuban style black beans and a Cuban style short ribs. Now, let's just take a quick look. We've already got here the white onions. <laughs> Diced red bell pepper, garlic, salt in here, and the diced chorizo. Now we're just cooking this down, and if you could smell it, it just smells absolutely lovely. Absolutely lovely. So to this, we're gonna add the two cans of black beans, right? We're gonna add the bay leaves, and we're gonna add a little bit of love. <laughs> All right. Seriously, folks, always cook with fun, always cook with love, otherwise your food is not going to turn out that great. So, you, if, you can hear, if you can hear this right here, what we're going to do, this is already cooked now. You see the onions are already nice, cooked, lovely, the garlic is cooked, the bell peppers are cooking. What we want to do is put that down to a, another stove top lower, a lower heat, where we're going to add the beans, a little bit of chicken stock, beef stock. If you don't have water, it's just as fine, just fine. Add a little bit of salt and pepper. And we're going to let that simmer with the black beans and let it simmer there with the bay leaves. Let it simmer for about 25-30 minutes on very, very low, low heat. And it's going to become nice and thick and it's just going to form those 
flavors are just going to marry and it's going to be lovely. Right, now when we come back, we're going to show you how we are going to... We've got some flour here, which I've salt and peppered it already, seasoned. Right, we're going to dust the short ribs. We're going to sear them, sear them in a pan, right? We're going to take those out after they're nice and seared on the outside. We're going to add the chorizo, add the onions, add the garlic, add the tomato paste, add a little bit of beer to deglaze. We're going to add, again, the short ribs back to that part. We're going to add some beef stock, and we're going to just let it simmer. We're going to let it boil first, then simmer for about two hours or so. And it's going to be lovely, absolutely lovely. So, please stay tuned. Please keep cooking. Please keep stirring. And please keep putting these up in the air. And join us once again when we show you how we finish these Cuban-style black beans and Cuban-style short ribs. All right, ladies and gentlemen. Cheers. Pros. Skol. Salute. Hello, hello, and welcome back. To cooking for the lifestyles of the rich and famous with me, your host Robin Leach. Now let's take a quick look here. How we've almost got the short ribs in. So here we have your sautéed onions that you added to that pan after we seared the short ribs. So we scraped that bottom off real good. Added those onions that we had marinated in with the short ribs. Add a little bit of that marinade, tomato paste, garlic. We're about to throw in a couple of bay leaves, some beef stock. And also the short ribs. Now we're going to cover the short ribs about three quarters of the way. Right? Bring that up to a boil. Cover them. Let it simmer for a little bit. And then throw it right into the oven for about two hours or so. About 350 degrees. Right. So if you want to take a look here. We've got our rice. Cooking lovely. Beans are done. Beans are looking absolutely lovely. Spectacular. Now... You see here we got that tomato paste already cooked. You want to make sure you cut that tomato paste then with the onions and the garlic and everything. Make sure you incorporate that, marry that well. And here, right, now we're just going to add a little bit of that. And also, I like to add a little bit of beer. Some people like to add sherry, some people like to add wine. You know how we do on this show. We put these up in the air, so we're going to put them in the pot as well. ha. <laughs> All right, so when we come back, we'll have the finished product. After the short video, and welcome back to the finale of tonight's Cuban cuisine, Cuban-style short ribs, Cuban-style black beans with some white rice. Now let's look at the finished finish product here, folks. Look at that. Now there's no fancy-pancy uh, plating here. This is just home-style cooking. You got your white rice, you got your beans, black beans with the chorizo and the onions and the bell pepper. Just absolutely fabulous, fantastic. You've got the short ribs here, and you see the sauce that I used was that sauce with that chorizo and the onions and that marinade with that, that we simmered down with that short rib, which is what you see here. This is your finished product, folks. If you like to get it a little bit more thicker, you could get it a little bit more thicker, just reduce that down. But you see we have there the yuca, the cassava, and the short ribs and that sauce, that guava with that orange and that garlic. It's just absolutely lovely. And you see how it's just nice and shiny, thick sauce on top. Short ribs are absolutely tender. We've got our yuca here. Absolutely fantastic short rib recipe. Absolutely simple. Anyone can do it. Folks, thank you again for staying in tune to Cooking for the Lost Souls of the Rich and Famous with me, your host, Robin Leach. As we always say here, keep cooking, keep stirring, and keep putting these up in the air. Ciao, folks. Cheers. Salute. Pros. Skull. Until next time.